Kurt, thanks so much for joining us as we launch our mission partnerships today. Uh, can you just introduce yourself and your family and just give us a bit of a picture of how the past 12 months have been for you? Yeah, g'day, Michael. It's great to be back on the big screen at St. Bart's. Uh, my name is Kurt Langmead. I'm the minister here at Lightning Ridge Community Church and I've been serving in the Diocese of Armidale, um, just down here in New South Wales uh, for, this is our ninth year now in full-time ministry. Married to Beck, we grew up in the Sutherland Shire, south of Sydney. We were told it was God's country when we were kids, but um, we've discovered now God's country is a bit further to the northwest. Um, speaking of kids, um, we're not here, just the two of us. We've actually got, I mean, you've hopefully been seeing our, our prayer supporter cards expand over the years. We now have five little Langmeads who are on our um, life and ministry team here in Lightning Ridge. So our eldest is June. She's going into year five this year and has just turned 10. And then down from June, we've got Arthur, Lydia, I'll make sure I get all these right now, otherwise I'll get in trouble, Jeremiah and Timothy. I think probably we're discovering the joy of being a, a large family um, on our recent holidays in in Sydney we went to the beach and for the first time we realized that every one of our kids in all the different ages wanted to do something different at the same time so June wanted to be learning to to surf Arthur wanted to be catching crabs and little Timothy wanted to be shoving sand in his mouth and in his nappy at the same time and so um, we're just doing our best to to kind of muddle our way through life and ministry um, you ask about the last 12 months um, in the ridge uh, to be honest, no, I hope I'm being honest all this interview, but it's been a, a year of highs and lows. Um, we've had some tough times at a sort of just fam on a, at a family level with, with some of the health of our kids, um, but also at a ministry level and even a spiritual level. Uh, I, I think we've had some challenges um, that we, we haven't come up against in previous um, years of ministry. Um, that being said, it's been a really good year. Um, it's our third year here. Um, in the Ridge as BCA or Bush Church Aid field staff. And I think in our third year, um, I just feel like some of the relationships, some of the opportunities um, are really starting to kind of, I don't know, bed down and, and God willing bear fruit as well. A really small example of that, um, our little Bible study group that we started with on a Tuesday night when we, when we arrived here three years ago is now a not so little Bible study group. We've usually got between sort of 12 to 15 people in our living room every Tuesday night. And the Bible study group put on a mission um, sort of outreach event in term four um, where the number of guests um, at the outreach men's and women's um, events was at least equal to the number of members in our group. And so that, I, I guess stuff like that um, is just a really lovely um, sign to me as the minister that some of those kind of things that started small um, are still pretty small but growing in a good way. So encouraged. It's such a delight to be able to partner with you guys. And of course, we launch uh, our many partnerships this year today. Uh, so why do you see partnerships like this as essential uh, for mission? Yeah, um, I think probably two two things I could say. The first is, is prayer. I know it's so obvious, but it's just so important. Um, even in that last year of ups and downs, knowing that there's people with us in prayer at a, at a human level, just to have the encouragement of knowing that most days of the month, there's somebody praying for us and remembering to pray for us. It, it certainly keeps Beck and I um, going. But at a kind of superhuman spiritual level, I mean, where, where would we be without the power of prayer and the God who hears our prayers and, and actually works through them? So prayer, number one, the best reason for, for partnerships through BCA and, and other partnerships like this. But at a practical level, I mean, let me give you an example. Um, we received this most incredible care package from you guys up at St. Bart's just a couple of months ago, including I think the St. Bart's kids had sent down boxes of books and board games. Little Jeremiah, our number four, still plays with the puzzles that came down in that box each day. He, loved, he loves them and we feel so cared for um, because of that practical support um, going beyond the commitment to pray, but actually to, to kind of partner with us in very practical, concrete ways. Uh, so, Kurt, how can we be praying for you guys this year? Yeah, well, look, I think we've got school starting back in a few weeks' time and three of our kids are in, in primary school now. Uh, you can continue to pray that each of our little ones had, had always loved the Lord Jesus. They'd never know a day when they're not walking with Christ and um, that they would be little witnesses for Jesus in, in the schoolyard and amongst their friends as well. We've got a children's worker by the name of Heather who's who's part-time with us here at the Ridge as well. Such a blessing. 
and um, we're we're hoping, God willing, um, to start a new little um, uh, venture on on week afternoons this year, or, or one week afternoon a week, for the middle school sort of age group where where our eldest June is kind of coming up into. Um, we, it's been our, our constant prayer um, since arriving here that that more young ones would come and be a part of not only our church family but God's family as well. So a specific prayer is for the, the launch of that new middle school group, and that even our little our little kids um, would would be light and salt for Jesus as they go out and about in their week. I think also um, on a ministry level, um, we've been listening and learning and learning to listen more when it comes to Indigenous ministry in recent um, times. And we've got a number of um, members of our church now who, who are uh, First Nations peoples and we're growing in our understanding of what it means to be a church that's, in, that's welcoming and accessible to people from all cultures and backgrounds, but we've got so much more learning to do. And so, I mean, it's my prayer um, at a very practical level that we can have um, working towards some kind of gathering where, where some of our local Indigenous community feels more comfortable to come along. But um, at the very least... Uh, that we'd be a listening church and, and a welcoming church to people from all places. Um, at the end of the day, our, our, our desire is that everybody in this town, regardless of their age or, or race or culture, would be building their lives on the solid rock of Christ and, and his word. Mm. Well, Kurt, we'll definitely be praying for you guys. And it's such a privilege to be able to partner with you. And it's such a pleasure to be able to chat to you right now and we'll be praying for you throughout the year. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Um, you guys, as one of our BCA Link churches, um, we're just so thankful for you. So yeah, God bless you guys.